Meantime, as state-level marijuana legalization increases and federal legalization appears now to be on the horizon, many investors trying to figure out the difference between Canadian and U.S. pot stocks. Frank Holland joins us now with more on that. Frank. Hey, good morning, Andrew. Very interesting introduction to this story. Uh, U.S. legal cannabis sales forecast to top $24 billion in 2021, a 40 percent increase year over year, making pot one of the fastest growing U.S. industries and multi-state operators that have the ability to sell medical and recreational cannabis the only way to invest in those trends. The CEO of Cresco Labs believes the industry is headed for a super cycle. You're seeing this incredible growth opportunity. That's not just transition from illicit market to legal market. That's trying cannabis for the first time. So what you're going to see here in, in the coming 12 to 24 months is this convergence. So what are you getting when you invest in U.S. cannabis stocks? Well, the top U.S. cannabis stocks, they more than doubled the revenue of the top Canadian stocks last quarter. Also, much higher year-over-year -year growth. So you got to keep that in mind when you're investing. The pandemic boosted recreational use. Still, two-thirds of the U.S. market is medical marijuana, although that's projected to hit just about 50-50 within the next few years. Also, right now, cannabis flower, a.k.a. weed or pot, is still the most popular way to use. The president and Senate Majority Leader, they both voice support for cannabis reform, but COVID is widely, widely seen as the biggest catalyst for more state and even federal legalization. This kind of tax revenue, this kind of job creation, and this kind of organic economic engine, and we think it's too strong to say no to. There's too many positive externalities that come from this kind of economic velocity. Uh, we think this is the great American growth story. Uh, this is what it's about, is new industry, new job creation, if federal legalization happens, U.S. producers are expected to have an advantage because they already have dispensaries and, in many cases, growing licenses in place here in the United States. But there are questions about valuation in such a new industry. Many analysts say enterprise value to sales is the best way to assess these companies because there are still so many questions remaining about profitability and the eventual need for CapEx investment. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.